Welcome to exam season, everyone. I have to revise all of this and this and this, and that is not even all of it. Hey there guys, welcome to today's video. I am gonna be taking you through my day of revision. What fun. I wanted to just focus on studying today. My camera is probably not gonna leave my desk. I will obviously leave my desk, but I just wanted to film the work that I'm doing and just focus on that so it is a pure 100% study with me because yes, exam season is here. I think it's just best to get it over and done with. I have, let me work it out. I'm in final year, I do biology for any of you guys that don't know. This is my final set of exams for this degree, which is quite scary. And I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Oh my god! I have eight weeks until my exam. Oh, I want to cry. Eight weeks till exams. They seem to creep up on you sooner every single year. My exam timetable came out the other day and <laughs> very funny. It's awful. Let's be totally honest with you here. I kind of knew it was gonna be like this from what I'd heard about the third year Bionatsky exams. I have a three hour exam every day for five days consecutively. You hear that? Every day, Monday to Friday, I have a three hour exam. Oh my gosh, this is just... My diary says you can on that week, which is, you know, motivational. They are all essentially essays. My hand is going to die. I have four exams for my major subject, which is pathology. And then I have one exam in my minor subject, which is in biochemistry. I just don't even wanna talk about this. But yeah, it's good to share our struggles because I'm sure you have lovely exam timetables too. The examiners just do not think about your mental well-being or your mental health during these times. They just forget that exams are hard, a mental stress and a burden on your brain and your body, you know? They just forget that. Let's not rant this morning. It's gonna be joyous. It's what it is, I can't change it. What I can do though is revise. Eight weeks guys, until exams. Oh. Okay, it might be the slowest eight weeks of my life. Are we ready? I will do a more thorough day in my life at home because I am currently at home. I'm on our Easter vacation or holiday, but it's not really a holiday. I'm at my desk. And yeah, so if you want to see a more detailed what I do in my day, like go to the gym, food, what I'm eating, snacks that I'm having, stuff that I'm doing other than work, I will definitely do that. And if you want to see that, please give it a like. And yeah, but today it's just a revision. Without further ado, we're probably just gonna, you know, get on with what we've got to do today. Milka! Minnie! I just have to fetch my cats. I got one here. We've got Berlioz. Hi, Minnie, come on. Good girl. Just got Milka. So we're gonna do four sets of 15 minutes. It's like high intensity interval training, like working out. Learning these notes with plain paper to basically get this in my head. This is my massive box of work and then we've also got a bunk bed thing going on with this is all my work from like previous years and this is all my work from this year essentially. All my folders are pretty much organized and that for me is one of the first steps in like revision is having everything organized so you can find it easily. <laughs> Stay hydrated. 
I was neglected by Milka. I was so sad. She just like left, strutted out my room and was like, see ya. So I'm working alone today. So yeah, I just wanted to briefly mention about like revision timetables. So I obviously got my exam timetable and to be honest with you, I put off looking at my exam timetable for like a good day and a bit because it was like worse than opening exam results, not gonna lie. I just didn't want to look at it. But I eventually like plucked up the courage and was like, look Holly, you just got to look at the thing. And then I made a revision timetable basically immediately after that they're not very detailed and they're not very complex at all oh speak of the devil she just walks in oh you want to come back now huh Rude. milka you want to come and sit with me now huh anyway it's on word it's just one big table for the eight weeks up until my exams including the week of my exams where i just write down on every day what i want to do and normally that is literally just one topic so i have split my core into big major topics so one of them for example is cancer and i've just put everything to do with cancer under one umbrella and either the evening before or on that day i would just plan which specific topics i want to revise and that is how my revision timetable works i like to have that flexibility so like today i'm not doing cancer i'm doing my least favorite topic today to be honest with you which is something i kind of struggle to engage with and um, so it's the topic i'm doing today is the one that i find not as interesting and the one that i find hardest to engage with i wish let's say that this wasn't part of one of my modules it's to do with like genetics and it's just my least favorite and i'm doing that today yeah that can't really be helped my revision timetable therefore just said genetics today that is how my revision timetable works and it's on my laptop Ugh, and i have emails to do let's make a to-do list for today i had it in my head what i was gonna do today i didn't actually write it down i need to do some other stuff today as well but it's not work so a to-do list is a good shout huh Dun. <gasps> oh my gosh we have started the yellow i literally never thought i would start the yellow these things seem to go on forever forever and ever and ever and ever the last pink one <laughs> have notes everywhere for this topic i try and understand it in so many different ways and look at so many resources and i like write loads of things down they have loads of bits of paper with the same thing explained in different ways like all of this i printed out all these notes on this one topic <laughs> genetics if you love it great but it's not really my cup of tea anyway my stomach is like rumbling so much i'm gonna go and have lunch bye for now we're back. We just had lunch. Oh gosh, stop in my teeth. Uh, excuse me, Milka. Why did you push Burley off the bed? This is what she does. She looks so cute, but she's a little devil, this one. Milka! Burley was sitting here and she just like attacked him before. <sighs> it's really exciting. We're almost on 200k. I just looked on my phone and I was like, wow, we're so close. 200k, that's so scary. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's done. 
so around this time i normally go to the gym it's early afternoon i've had enough time to digest my food and i'm just gonna bring the camera up i often do this i'm like halfway on my desk and it's really awkward oh that's so much better yeah i have a gym membership at home which is something new i've been really getting into going to the gym as i have been at uni and i just really wanted to continue that at home so i got a gym membership home i'm gonna go to the gym now i think i've said gym about a million times already if you want workouts continue your workout videos which i'm gonna be doing um tell me down below and give it a like as well but yeah gym time to give me a break stand up for a bit like my back starts to get a bit achy so we're gonna have to like stand up almost choked <laughs> cat fight going on in here everybody Minnie the best lizard on oh poop don't let her hurt you okay Ugh. cat fight cat huh I got back from the gym before and just did more work I know it's really disgusting well it seems really disgusting because I don't have a shower as soon as I get back from the gym or if I say work out but the thing is like I don't sweat it's really weird unless I'm in like a really humid environment when I'm working out then I will sweat yes but when I normally work out most times I don't sweat it's really weird so I never feel as if I need to have a shower and yeah oh here we go She'll start rolling around in a minute and try to be all cute and sexy. Mm. I then helped mum make food and I'm now going to have a shower. <laughs> it's basically what I want to say. These two, meanwhile, are going to battle it out in my room. Really? Milka! Huh? What do you want to say to everybody? You didn't even work with me today. Like, I'm not very happy with you. Stop sniffing my clothes. Thank you very much. I can do with putting them away in my drawers without your fur on. Cat hair is just not okay. No wonder I have hay fever. Look at this mess. Everywhere. This is what I get left with every day. Ingenious <laughs> things.